Oh, that's a big one. That's got to be big. The way that thing slammed it, that's got to be big. Oh my God, that's the biggest smallmouth ever. That is the biggest smallmouth I've ever seen. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to NB Edit. So today, I am going to be hitting the Wisconsin River up here in northern Wisconsin, and I'm going to be trying to target some smallmouth bass. Now, the weather has been up and down pretty much the last couple weeks here. We've had some 70 degree days, we've had some 40 degree days, so this water temperature is all over the place. But they're saying right now it's about 50 degrees, so these smallmouths should be moving into the shallows. I've got my new canoe, Frontier 12. This is the kayak that I run in case any of you, you know, are wondering what the heck I use. I'll leave it down in the description. It is an awesome kayak. But I got about, I don't know, I'd say a half mile paddle to the spot that I'm gonna be trying. And I'm gonna see if I can pull off some smallmouth off of uh, some structure in the shallows. I have no idea if they're gonna be in there. And I only have about an hour long time frame because I have to get home, because I have to do some stuff. But yeah, we're just gonna see if we can catch some fish. So come along, we'll see if we can do it. Stay tuned guys, let's get after it. All right, so I made it out onto the water. Current right now is not terrible, actually. I thought it would be a lot worse than what it is. Water actually seems pretty decent. Now, I'm not exactly right on the Wisconsin River. I'm kind of uh, on a flowage, so there's going to be some slack water areas. The area that I'm going to be trying to fish today is more of like a backwater spot where there's like a little bit of a creek inlet and some flowing water, and it's super shallow, so I'm hoping They've already moved up into the shallows and they're looking for some food. So I got a little bit of a paddle. I'm gonna start doing that and talk to you guys more when I get to the spot. Okay guys, so just made it to the very first spot. A few problems already I've noticed. One, that was way more than a half mile paddle. Two, it is extremely hot and I'm wearing way too many clothes. And three, I forgot literally all of my smallmouth equipment. I am using a medium light rod, which isn't that bad. This is a Fox River medium light, great rod. But I'm using six pound fluorocarbon. That's a problem. And this is actually not too bad. I got a craw right now, and then I got a football head jig. I think this is quarter ounce, which might be a little heavy because there's not that much current. And I'm fishing in pretty shallow water. But I only have about two football head jigs with me and I think a pack of craws and that's it. So we are kind of kind of screwed on the tackle. So didn't really think of that. Kind of was just in the mode of walleye fishing and uh, oh well, I guess. We'll, we'll work with what we got and see if we can still get some. I literally just turned off my GoPro and I got hooked up. Oh my God, there's two of them on there. Oh, that's a nice smallie. That's a nice smallie. Oh, don't come off. That's a nice smallie. Oh my God, that's a nice smallie. Oh yeah, that's a nice smallie, guys. Holy cow. While this one was coming in, there was another one. Literally, this was my first cast with this X-Wrap. I'm just using a Rapala X-Wrap. First cast. Big old smallie. <laughs> Holy cow. We can get a release on this one. But oh my god, that's awesome. All right, boys. Very, very first one of the day. Not a giant. But I'm going to get a release on her. Very first bronze back of the day. There she goes. Oh yeah. So this is what I was kind of talking about, guys. This is that water coming in. This is all super shallow, rocky. That was first cast with the Rapala X Wrap. I'm going to get back to it and see if I can get some more. I think I'm going to move up there a little bit and see if I can uh, get up closer to that water coming in and see if I can. Oh, big smallie just followed me in. Big smallie just followed me all the way to the kayak. You guys probably couldn't see it because this water is really dark, but come on. That was probably 20 inches all day. Okay, so they're, they're definitely here. They're definitely aggressive. There we go. Oh, that's that's another nice one. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my God. Yes. 
Let's go. Get up in here. Oh yeah. Let's go. Oh, that thing cranked it. Oh my God. It's not even that big, but <laughs> something about catching bronze backs when they're these <laughs> super aggressive and shallow water. Oh my God, I love it. I'm gonna get a release on this one. I'm gonna spend no time because I think these fish are stacked up in here. Oh my God, I miss this. There's another one. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is insane. Come here. <laughs> another one. Whoa, I gotta be careful though, there are troubles. Oh my God. This is getting fun. Oh my God. I figured, you know, the spawn would be somewhere right around this time. And boy, was I right. I must have hit it right on because these fish are definitely in the shallows. And they're definitely here feeding and getting ready to spawn. Oh yes. Oh, that's that might be a nice one. That might be a nice one. Oh my god, just cranked it. Oh, not that big. I mean, it's just a quality smallmouth, but ah, oh, get up here. I apparently have found the, the ticket to what these fish want. I mean, everyone's pretty much been the same except for the very first one. I think that was probably the biggest of the day so far but hey i'm literally casting and catching a fish almost if not every cast it's every other cast right now so oh yeah there we go there we go get up in here get up in here oh giving us a show holy cow that is a chunky one. Holy macaroni. Get a release on him right away. Get right back to it. Cast that spot again. Oh, that's a big one. That's got to be big. The way that thing slammed it, that's got to be big. Oh my God, that's the biggest smallmouth ever. That is the biggest smallmouth I've ever seen. I swear to God. I swear to God, I might have to net this thing. Holy cow. I don't have time for the net. He's barely hooked. Oh my God. Oh my God. Don't shake it. Oh my freaking God. Wow. Okay. It's not as big as I thought it was, but that is a freaking tank. Oh my God. So you guys thought I'd pick up the big camera and just talk to you guys for a little bit. This is absolutely insane. I mean, this is by far the biggest smallmouth I've caught today of the year. I mean, I am having myself a freaking day out here. Uh, let me release this fish here quick and then I'll show you guys a little bit more of the bait that I'm using to catch a smallmouth. There she goes. Okay, so this is the bait that I'm using. This is a Rapala X-Wrap. I don't know how many of you guys have used this, but this is a fantastic jerk bait to use for walleye and smallmouth in the early spring. It's got a rattle in it. This is a size 10, I wanna say. Got a little feathers at the end just for a little flavor. This is perch color and basically, let me toss it back in here. I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro, but then I'm gonna show you guys how I'm working it to catch these fish. I'm gonna toss it out. And what I'm doing is I'm twitch, twitch, then pause, twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause. So that way, when these fish are looking at this, coming across the rocks, they are looking at kind of like a wounded bait fish and that's when they come up and slap it oh my god that thing worked me oh it's another nice one. <laughs> oh my god come here ah oh got my other one there oh 
Let's get them unhooked right away. Oh my God, look at these freaking fish. I am having myself one of the best days of smallmouth fishing that I think I have ever had. There's one. Come on in, buddy. Oh, just another tank. Oh, barely hooked. And there he goes. Son of a... Of course. Right when I say barely hooked. Well, that was another 18 plus for sure. But I'm not going to complain. I've literally caught like 10 smallmouth in like 30 minutes. Oh my god. We got another one, guys. Holy cow, this one's getting crazy. Just turned the GoPro off. And this one slammed me. Another just beast of a fish. Oh my god. Look at this freaking thing. This is probably another freaking four or five pounder. I mean, this thing is heavy. It's girthy. I freaking love it. Oh my god. This this is the best smallmouth day I think I've ever had in my entire life. Let me get a release on that one. See if we can get one more. Oh my god, that felt like a big one. Oh my god. That thing smoked it right by the kayak. Come here. Oh, yes. Well, sadly, guys, I am running out of time. I was on a strict hour long time limit. And, uh, you know, it's always, always sucks leaving when the fish are biting, but I am thankful for the day that I have had. I mean, I could not have asked for a better hour of fishing, I think, ever for a smallmouth. I would have liked a few more giants, you know, maybe a couple over that 20-inch range, but can't always get what you ask for. You know, I can't complain with how today was. And, uh, yeah, that'll probably be my last fish. And then I am going to kayak all the way back to the boat landing, and I will talk to you guys more when I get to the truck. All right, guys, holy cow. I'm either really out of shape or that's actually a lot of work. That's probably more like a mile. And to make things worse, the wind picked up from the opposite direction I was going. So a bit of a hike and uh, I'm tired. So I'm gonna finish up loading up my kayak and get it into the truck and I'm gonna be heading home. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode of me just absolutely smashing big smallies. I mean, I can't even explain how awesome today was. It's definitely probably one of, not if the best smallmouth days that I've ever had and I was only out there for an hour. I cannot tell you guys how important it is to have something like a kayak. Now having a big boat is important. I wish I had one, but for the spot that I was fishing today, you physically can't take a big boat in there because one, you'll bottom out, or two, you'll just absolutely rip up your engine and you just can't get back there. I was only in about a foot or two of water, big boulders, and that's where the fish were. So having the kayak was absolutely clutch today. But like I said, I'm gonna get this packed up. I gotta get home, I got some other stuff to do. Really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. We really appreciate it, showing that you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have not already, subscribe to the channel for more content that we're gonna be bringing along the way. You know, if you guys wanna see more smallmouth fishing, let me know down in the comments below because we can definitely do that. It's one of my favorite species to target and I know it's definitely lacking on the channel. And uh, yeah, other than that, until next time guys, tight lines from NB Edits.